It's been like a million years since I've recorded, but here I am. Make sure you keep your notifications on so that you can see my video when it comes. <laughs> when it comes. My name is Oksana with Craft and More Design. Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn these tacky vases that I found at a thrift store and around the home and I think a local garage sale and I turned them into these beautiful modern textured vases that you see right behind me. I love them. They turned out so beautiful. So I love how they look. Let's get started. So what you'll need to achieve this look is some brushes, foam brushes, your paint scraper, some spackling, and whatever color of choice. So I am using some Dixie Belle paint, resin paint, acrylic paint, and of course I have my baking soda, some gloves, and some items I had around the home such as my spray paint. So we'll go ahead and start spraying our vases to whatever color of choice that you want. So in this case I'm going to do some textured sprays, some white sprays, and that way I'll have a little bit of a base for my faces. This is the one that I spray painted outside. So I'll do a comparison if it matters to even have that white base. So I just got a clear plastic cup and put my paint in there which is Drop Cloth by Dixie Belle. And then I went ahead and just added the baking soda and mix it all together. Make sure you get a really good mixing and go ahead and add more should you need it. And if you think the consistency looks pretty good. these finished drying so they turned out really pretty this is the one that I spray painted first as the primer base and then used that baking soda hack to paint over it and this one I did not put primer on and you can see when I was going over to paint it started pulling away everything definitely recommend that you paint or primer first another thing I noticed is baking soda if you can look closely because baking soda dissolves in water and I was letting the chalk paint then out by using water. I would also recommend just to go ahead and get some regular latex paint or acrylic paint. Those are some things I discovered. As of now, definitely the primer and then the paint. My third item is going to be the same base. This time I'm gonna use some spackling. I got this at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna go ahead and just spackle this on and let this dry. I think this turned out so pretty. I'm very happy with the texture. I did have a hard time covering up the colors, so I just went ahead and spray painted it with a metallic gold that I had in my inventory, but of course you can use any color of your choice. And the next item I wanna talk about is this beautiful black stand. Love it. And I made that just using a glass cup and a cake pan from the dollar store and some spray paint. And $2, that's all it costs me. All right, and last thing, I'm sorry, this video is literally all over the place. I um, got a cute little person over there. I'm distracting me. Do you like mommy's YouTube? <laughs> you think mommy's silly? <laughs> yeah. So, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is um, how to make these just regular stainless steel Ikea vases into Kind of this is the inspiration of really pretty cement faux greenery. Bought these for I think $20 at TJ Maxx. They're so pretty. Look at that. I love it. So simple and modern. I love it. Thing is using this multicolored textured spray. So you can kind of see the nice little texture. This saved me a step from having to paint them. And I had um, just a soft gray color. Um, that I sprayed. So now what I'm gonna do is create this texture by applying some white chalk paint that I thinned down with some water. And 
And that's it. I am so happy with how they turned out. I think they're so pretty. So thank you again for watching. Be sure to like this video, post the comment, which one's your favorite, and uh, turn on that notification bell for all those future videos that are coming ahead. I'm gonna make them all Willow. Please, I'm trying to film. Can you drink a little quieter? My dog. Willow.